Welcome in fellow travelers. My name is Marie from Indigo Earth here to do a general reading for Earth signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Earth signs. Welcome in cross watchers. You may be connected to or um, in a relationship with an Earth sign. Therefore, you are here to see what's going on with your person. Feel free to swap around characters. This reading could be for you in relationship to your earth sign, or it could be the earth sign in relationship to you. Um, what else? There will be an extended <laughs> at the end of this video. So if you resonate with the um, content and you wish to dive deeper into the reading, the link will be below for you to do that. Uh, time is fluid. Therefore, any time that you come across this video was a time that you were meant to see it. You and I are working together. Our energies are working together to create a message for your highest good and for the highest good of the collective. So, as always, take what resonates. If it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. And if it does fit... Use your discernment and your intuition and your inner knowing. I lay the cards out on the table. Table. I tell you what's showing up. You connect the dots. You are learning how to build your own discernment and your own inner knowing and intuition. So let's see where we go here. As always, please, if you like the content that's being shared with you, Please like and subscribe and help build the channel and share it. That's always welcome. So, Earth signs. Virgo, I analyze. Taurus, I have. Capricorn, I use. Let's see where we go today for you. Okay. So, the theme coming up is strength, inner resolve, and knight of swords. Moving forward in truth and clarity and in understanding. Knight of Swords is somebody who has um, an idea. Wants to share truth. Wants to share knowledge. And moves forth with that. It's also moving forth in authenticity and clarity. So something that has to do with strength, inner resolve, to move forth with clarity and with authenticity. So let's see where this takes us, earth signs. I'm going to do one more. If there are zodiac signs showing up in the reading that are screaming, I will look at those in the extended as well. As well as tendencies that need to be released during this time. And actions and advice for you. Here we go. Earth signs. Ready? Your current energy. Ten of Swords. This could be surrender. This could be um, exhaustion. This could be an illness. This could be an addiction. This could be... Just come to the end. There's nowhere else to go. Just giving up. Done. Giving up. Letting go. Just surrendering to the process. The situation. Temperance. Working with your guides. Working with your angels. This is Sagittarius energy sh showing up here. Um, this could be like trying to work the emotions with showing up in the tangible with the 3D. That which you can see, smell, taste, and touch, working with the earth elements, like working your emotions and then trying to balance them with what you do in everyday life, how you show up in the world. Your opportunity is a page of wands. Finding something that inspires you. Finding vitality within. Maybe finding mentorship with vitality. Somebody that has inspiration and knowledge. What the universe is co-creating with you. 
is King of Cups, working on the heart space, being able to offer love. Sometimes the King of Cups has so much emotions that they, he can't show it. He can't bring forth. He's very, um, in, he's very insecure and he's very um, kind of like low self-esteem because he can't bring those emotions out because he is so full of them and he doesn't know how to process them and he doesn't know how to, sh how to, um, he's kind of socially awkward. Energies that surround you that you may not be aware of. Queen of Wands, an entrepreneurial spirit, somebody who has a lot of passion, somebody who has a lot of inspiration, somebody who has a lot of vitality. What's coming in? Justice. Justice is the 1111 card. That is a twin flame card. That is also a card of karma. That is also a Libra. Um, so that's an air sign. And Queen of Wands is a fire sign. Justice is all about balancing the scales. Coming to fruition. So you've got temperance and justice here within the first one, two, three, four, five, six cards. So it's about balance, being able to balance. about reciprocity give and take receptivity and being able to give your energy or how you show up in the world how people see you six of pentacles somebody who works in the community somebody who's balanced somebody who's kind of stable um, somebody who appears to be Just well grounded, just grounded. Energies that are right in front of you, the Ace of Wands, New Beginnings. This is the catalyst or the matchstick to start something new. Hopes and fears. The Four of Wands, that's about commitment, stability. Um, Four of Wands is anything that has to do with like like our milestones. So this could be a graduation. This could be um, a birth of a child. This could be a wedding. This could be um, going off to college or graduating from college, a new job. So that's in your hopes and fears. And your outcome is the Empress. That is, um, the Empress represents the embodiment of being able to take her resources, everything that she has, and build her empire with it. She is somebody who is, um, she's like the mother, she's like the mother of all mothers, the overseer of everything. She's able to give and to take and to make sure that her flock is fed, but she is also fled, fed, fed. <laughs> um, so it's just a very nurturing it's also about self-care. And it's also about hope and inspiration. So let's get some clarity on this. Let's see what the Ten of Swords is all about. Because that's your current energy. And that's the one that's about um, exhaustion, giving up, letting go. Could be about... Um, Addictions, surrendering into addictions. <clears throat> so we have the Six of Wands, overcoming. We have the Seven of Cups, confusion. Or there just may be too many people talking, too many people giving you advice, telling you what to do. And we got the Page of Swords, getting clear and getting focused. Getting clear and getting focused because there seems to be a lot of confusion on what to do next or where to go. And the Six of Wands is really trying to overcome this.
but you've also got the page of swords this isn't the knight of swords so this isn't somebody that's really taking action it's kind of somebody that's thinking about it and looking at it and maybe contemplating it and kind of kind of working through with the truth and getting some clarity but not really doing much about it yet and you also have it covered with the page of wands the opportunity again that's getting inspired but it's not really taking action to do anything about it it's just kind of building up the courage to do something so let's get clarity on let's get clarity on the temperance that's your situation this could be pulling on higher guidance as well this is working with archangel michael too many dropped out. Because in your theme, you have the courage, you have the courage and the strength card, the overall theme with the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords take Knight takes swift action. He is moving forward with clarity and truth. But in your current energy. Just the pages are showing up. Those are kind of the support, the mentors. So let's see what temperance is all about. The balance. The yin and the yang. Being able to pull on resources. We have the hermit with the queen of cups. And death. So this could be taking, this could be really going within into tapping into what's in your heart. You may be surrendering or giving up, um, trying to find that balance between what's going on in your heart space and how you're showing up in the world. And there, there's like a battle between the two and this is really going deep within to work with that heart space, those feelings and those emotion, those emotions, and maybe death is surrendering to it. Either it's surrendering to it or it's um, or it's just giving up with it, not not going to, not wanting to. Um, contend with the emotional aspects of self, of, of self but in your in your crown you have the king of cups so the situation you have the king of cups and the queen of cups here so let's see what that's all about can you clarify the king of cups please Death could also be something that was in the heart space that would had long been done is now being revived and you're starting to kind of kind of look look at that again, maybe start questioning or interpreting what that is or what that's all about because you do have the page of swords with the 7 of cups which is causing some confusion maybe over that something that had been gone cuz the page of swords is like inquiry and then the page of one is like, hmm, kind of being intrigued by it. So for the king of cups, you have the three of swords, that's heartbreak. And you have the five of wands, that's conflict. Conflict and um, a deep grief in the heart space. Three of swords is three swords piercing through a heart. Five of wands is um, competition, jealousy, rage. Yeah, and you have the Two of Cups. This is over um, something that has affected you emotionally, a relationship. So let's see what this, these underlying energies, the Queen of Wands, this inspirational 
Queen of Wands can also be um, very dramatic, kind of a drama queen, wants to always be in the spotlight, um, has a huge ego, doesn't like when other people take center stage. Got the Ten of Pentacles. with the five of pentacles. So something that seems stable, something that seems stable left, left you out in the cold or vice versa. This could be the other person, but um, something that seemed like it was the real deal. It was very inspiring and very um, captivating and just seemed like that was gonna be your 10 of pentacles turned out to be the five of pentacles, L left you feeling out, lost, abandoned, and out in the cold. It didn't bring to fruition probably what you thought it might. And let's look at justice here. This is the energies that are coming in. In the extended, I'll look at this six of pentacles, how you show up in the world. That's kind of your sun sign. And then we'll look at your outcome, the Empress. And the Empress, too, is somebody who um, really starts taking care of herself and taking care of her family and her surroundings and her environment. So what is this justice? Please clarify the justice coming in. Justice is usually about karmic balance. The Magician. With the Two of Swords, not being able to see clearly, not seeing your gifts. With the Seven of Swords, something being very sneaky and conniving. So karma is coming in. This Two of Swords, um, the Magician can be very crafty, very manipulative. Sometimes he um, can use black magic. Um, he works kind of in the dark energies. And the Two of Swords is like blocking yourself off, not being willing to see that, don't want to talk about it, don't want to know about it. And Justice is coming in because Seven of Swords has been somebody who's pretty much deceiving themselves, lying, cheating, stealing. Um, that's that lower level kind of energies that work with like jealousy, competition, rage, anger, this could have something to do with some form of an addiction as well. Some, some form of an addiction to something in excess that has like taken over. Something that was being refused to be dealt with. Not wanting to get counsel or help. So justice is coming in. Karma is coming in. And there's something to do with, you got the Ace of Cups. Something to do with love that has set all this off. Or deception in love. Something that has to do with deception and love. Either you could have been deceived in love with somebody who was very manipulative and um, unwilling really to see their see what they were doing or they knew what they were doing but they didn't want to take accountability for it or um, you could be doing this. So let's Let's get two more cards just to kind of help with the overall theme of the strength and moving forward in truth and clarity. Something is being surrendered though. 
something is being surrendered and something is has has run its course and come to the point of exhaustion either because there's been just a death to it it's just done or because karma is showing up yeah and you got the tower and you have the six of cups so this has some kind of patterns that have to do with childhood six of cups is all about nostalgia it's also about like childhood memories, childhood foundations, things of innocence. And then you've got tower and the tower is coming in with death. You got death up here as well. And you got the 10 of swords. So this is all like end. you've got justice coming in and you've got temperance trying to balance. So really finding that inner resolve and that inner strength to find your way through in truth and clarity to get through to get through this to start seeing clearly and to um, to start getting some resolve about looking at foundations that were built from childhood because they're playing themselves out they're playing themselves out and it's bringing it to a point of like no return. Like it's not coming back. Like it's getting to the point of complete exhaustion and karma is getting ready to come in. So there has to be, there has to be a new way to like show up the Empress. There has to be a new way. The outcome is looking at a new way to show up. So let's get a card from Beyond Lumira guidebook for you. And I'll dive deeper into this. We'll look at what the tower is. We'll look at what um, your energy, the Six of Pentacles, and we'll, we'll dig into what that Empress means. Actions and advice for you and things that need to be released. Soul Star Chakra. So I don't know if that's healing the... Let's see what that is. Soul Star Chakra. Merging with the Divine. Transcendence. Letting go. Looking for the light, being filled with the light, channeling, karma, the bridge between the spiritual realm and the physical realms. Ascension is available. The image captures the merging of time beyond space, wisdom that penetrates our being. We have lived in many worlds, all interconnected. They uphold the lessons that carry as messages of transformation. Their synergy creates the expansion of the universe. When we simply let go, we become all that we've been seeking and glimpse the greater dream. Restore. Remember that you are an infinite being with the ability to expand your awareness beyond space and time. Consider the paradigms outside the physical reality may be unfathomable until we raise our vibra vibration and can think outside the mind. Meditate on the idea that everything that ever was and ever will be is happening simultaneously right now across multiple dimensions. Karma or what can be implemented or cleared for your optimal progress towards ascension. Heal the, the head chakra for a card healing anywhere just above the head and meditate on the kaleidoscope rainbow. So this is about moving out of the mind and moving into the soul. So with that, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, that's all I have for you. If you're going on with me, the link is down below. If not, I wish you the peace that passes all understanding. Breathe in the light. Breathe out peace. Until next time.